Hello and welcome to the series of videos where we'll be showing you the various features of our stair tool in Open Building Designer Connect Edition. In this video, we'll see the various placement point for placement of stairs. For this, let us go to the building design workflow and from the architectural tab, we select the stair tool. As we select the stair tool, we can see that the various stair placement points get activated. In the left hand, we see that a small stair icon with a red dot or an anchor point that signifies the placement point of the stair. In the right hand side, we can also see that the type of stairs that are available for placement. The various placement point options are top left, top center, top right, middle left, middle center, middle right, bottom left, bottom center, bottom right. You might have noticed that the middle placement point are grayed out in this case. This is because a straight stair is selected right now. If you place the stair, we can see that the straight stair has a top and a bottom, but it does not contain any landing, so the middle placement option is grayed out. Let us take a second example of a straight stair with two runs as it has a landing, and here we can see that the middle placement point option are activated. So now we know that the middle placement point option are active for stairs with landing and it is grayed out for the ones that do not have any landings. Other stairs such as quarter turn stairs, half turn stairs, two quarter turn stairs, three quarter turn stairs all have landings and hence the middle placement point are active for all of them. Now let us select the winder stair. You can notice that the middle placement point option is grayed out. Similarly, for two quarter turn winder stair, as well as for spiral stairs, we can see that the middle placement point is grayed out. Here, we'll see the placement of stairs by various placement point options. After selecting the stair, we see that the contextual tab of placement gets activated. Now, this tab has the various placement point options for the stair. First, let us select a straight stair with no landing and see the various placement or anchor points for the stair. After we select the stair, we can see that the top placement point and the bottom placement point options are activated whereas the middle placement points are grayed out because the stair does not contain any landing. Now let us select the top left stair anchor point. We can see that the stair is created from top to bottom when the top placement point is selected. Let us now select the bottom placement point option to see the difference and here you can see that the stair is created from bottom to top unlike the previous case. We can see the difference move clearly from top view. Now let us see the various other options that are available to us. For example the top center which will anchor the cursor to the center point. The top right will be the anchor to the cursor for the top right corner of the stair. Similarly, the bottom center and the bottom right will anchor the stair to those points of the stair respectively. That is all for this video. See you again in the next one.